And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world. Let's go. It's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Dale, dale, dale. Yeah, what up, what up, what up, go. y'all? It's your boy, Switch. I'm here with your man, Jimmy. Let's I'm here go. with your man, Jay. I'm here with your boy, Ant. And we got a very special guest here today, our boy, Sailor the Corner. What's hey. going on, fellas? Let's go. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get, let, let, let me get ready, man, because it's, it's, it's hoodie right, season. It's you know what hoodie what season. It's Everybody hoodie season. Everybody got their hoodies on. <laughs> It's hoodie I guess season. Jay ain't get the memo today. You know what I mean? It's all right. Um, He's 116 anyway. Right. <laughs> hey, La, what's good, man? How was your weekend, man? I oh, saw man. you was up in Buffalo. Yeah, it was it was dope, man. I got to link with my sis. Um, and we, you know, we just working on we working on a bunch of stuff for her. We worked fire. on some it was beautiful. You know it's gonna be a fire, man. Yeah, it was dope out there. It was it was it made me sad to have to leave. Like, so I know it was it was like that. It was like that. Wow. That's what's up, man. And what's up with you guys? What did you gentlemen do this weekend? Anything interesting? Man, I was editing. You know me. I'm I'm over here editing videos, you know what I'm saying, from, from last week. You know, <laughs> that's about you, it. You was at the bar, wasn't you? That's all I do. <laughs> me? Yeah. <laughs> Slander. Why do I, why do I gotta go to the bar when I got beer in my fridge? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, man. That don't make no sense. <laughs> Just mute this man's mic, man. You're right. You're right. <laughs> so uh today's oh, Monday, God. and whenever this episode drops, uh this is election. The election election is tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah. election's yeah. tomorrow, man. We're not gonna know right? Jay already we're not voted. Gonna know for another week. Yes, yeah, I did. Know until another week or man. so. Yo, they already they already know who they're going to put up there, man. What are you talking about, man? Yo, You're my guy Trump already is going to declare victory. So. Your this guy. Is, you voted for him? Guy. Wow. The, yeah, breaking news. I changed my mind. Oh, I mean, you, you, you sat out there for two hours. Yo, I, 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 got, I had a lot of thinking to do. Hey, the yeah, Rothschilds was, convinced you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the Rothschilds. Wow. Wow. Nah, he just uh, went for God's prophet, right? God's anointed one, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. You, you can't classify me in those those that group. That's of what Karen Maga. That's what Karen Maga said on our Twitter. She hit us up. Yeah, she hit us up today. What she say, man? For those who don't know, who don't follow us on Twitter. Oh, let me see that. Yeah, make sure y'all follow us on Twitter. Let's see this tweet. This is a funny tweet. Yo. So, I really thought it was real, man. I really thought like I really thought thought somebody dead serious. Yeah. All right. So from the account, it says Karen Maga. And so I put up, uh, you know, would you stop listening to your favorite CHH artists if they voted for a presidential candidate you disagreed with? They put yes. If they don't vote for Trump, praise be unto him. And they are Democrats and libtards who will spend forever in the burning (laughs) lake. God is a Republican. And I know this is for a fact because he is the current candidate. <laughs> this is definitely a troll account. But yeah, they wild with that, man. It's All a right, troll. so you got so Jay, you got uh, what well, you said, Sela? The tr- that's a troll statement, I'm sure. But like, yo, there's people out there that really be. There's, yeah, really there's, there's that. truth. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah. And yep. it's and it's probably the, one of the most damaging things that our faith. That's that's, that's one of the most damaging blows our faith has taken. Thus far, like the lack, the, the ability to disagree without sounding like a complete lunatic, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Mm. Really, it really hurts our credibility in the eyes of the public. Like, I, I believe we believe in the truth. So it don't matter if people feel that part, but the way we execute our, 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 our opinions as Christians, it really, it really hurts us. Like stuff like that. That's crazy, man. Right. That don't right. go to hell because we. That's crazy, bro. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. real. Or, or if you vote for Biden, you know, you're, you're, if your pastor talks about voting for Biden, you should go to another church. Are oh, you talking about you that church? You're, you're not hearing. You're yeah. not hearing the spirit of God. That's yeah, that. like what? That's that's, that. that's that's crazy. That's that Marcus talk. 
That's that Marcus <laughs> Rogers talk, man. Yeah. So Jay, so Jay, you got you yeah. got Trump winning this election this year. Um, yeah, I would say so. I mean, the amount of uh, I guess support, quote unquote, that you get from him, like here in the city, you, just yesterday there was a like a huge caravan that started here in Queens, and went to the, the Whitestone Bridge, closed the bridge down with so nice. many people. Yeah, it was on the news, everything. Then they then they hop over to Jersey and on the turnpike they start doing stuff. So it was like that's crazy. I've never seen I mean, granted, I Yo, maybe I never paid attention, but I've never seen anything. Nah. That's that's crazy to me because MAGAs were mad that BLM was doing that. You know what I'm saying? So like how are you gonna get mad that, that people are blocking bridges because they, they wanna bring awareness to police brutality, but you cool with closing down the bridge for your man Trump? I don't get it, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely a you know tit for tat and uh, unbalanced scales, you know. Yeah, for sure. Wow, for sure. Jimmy, who you got? Nobody for president twenty twenty. You know what I mean? I'm gang, not, gang. Yo. I'm not voting for nobody. I know man. you're not voting, voting but, but he who said, you "Who you think? What are you, what's your prediction for what? It doesn't change anything, man. Trump's winning for sure, man. You know what I'm okay. saying? Oh, yeah, mega. It, 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 yeah, Biden is winning California, you know what I'm saying? For sure. So, so he's winning New York as well. We so if I, if I, if I, if I vote for Biden or I don't vote for Biden, he's still going to win California. If I vote for Trump or I vote for Joe Jorgensen, Biden's still winning. So what's the point? All right. But right. your prediction is Trump then? For sure. For sure. He's winning, man. He's got the better propaganda. Dude, dude mm. went the long way just to tell you. He's I know, right? Oh, <laughs> right? Man, I'm not voting. He yeah. had to make his statement. All right, I'm not voting. <laughs> yeah. right, Yo, you know how I do. Bro. You know how I do. Come on, man. You acting like I'm brand new. You know what I mean? Come on. And who you got? No Trump going. Man. <laughs> you know, all all yeah. aboard, huh? Yeah, right. It's just you know. I gotta tell you, man. It's it. You could tell the difference, yo. Like it's a passion. These people have a passion for that man. They love this dude. Word. This Call dude like Michael it. Jackson, bro. And but on the this flip dude is side, Michael Jackson. On the flip side, no one likes Biden. They just doing it just to get the other dude out. It ain't like yeah, they just hate Trump more. Yeah, they don't like Biden. They just hate Trump more. Yeah, for sure. To me, that don't never work. That's like that's like a rebound. Uh, 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 you know, like a rebound uh, uh, um, relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like you really trying to get over that girlfriend with the current one, but you don't really like her. You keep thinking about the other one. That don't never work. This this sounds personal, bro. (laughs) It don't work. Is this is this from experience? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> All right, so you got Trump then. <laughs> Say la, who we got, man? Who you got? Said it. Yo, it's yo. He's he's gone. He's gone. Flawless victory. This situation, B. <laughs> he said flawless victory. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> you think you think it's gonna be close, or you Come think here. it's it's, it's think, gonna be a good gap? I think it's gonna be a landslide. Wow. wow. Okay. You Just know what's crazy? I think so too. I think so too. It's crazy. Really? Homie, what homie said, what homie said before, the people who love Trump, like love him for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? And it's not about like like the feeling, the feeling for that man, it seems greater than the feeling against him. And and every day it seems like the people that's against him, one or two of them go for him. You know what I'm saying? Like it seemed like every day somebody else who was a hundred percent against him is now like, you know what? And I just see it. I see it all over my timelines, all over. Like, it's like, yeah, man, I think it's going to be ugly. Like, it's going to be, it's going to be uncomfortable to watch. Like, Yo, people talking civil war, bro. Yeah. Like, people really talking that, man. That's like, it ain't that serious for me, bro. Yeah. I got, I I was in Jersey over the weekend and I have family members, you know, nowadays you, you talk politics. So somebody brought it up and I was just shocked to hear People was like, yeah, I voted for Trump. Yeah, I voted for Trump. And these are people who always voted Democrat pretty much since wow. it got to this country. Not too that's many Republicans I, saying I that. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's where I knew. I was like, that. hmm, okay. I think this dude's going to actually win. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what I love about the situation, especially with these rappers, like coming out Adam. Tr- like that. Like. A lot of my kids was like, yo, I can't believe 50 Cent said this or Lil Wayne said <laughs> this. And, and I tell them, I'm like, listen, I'm not going to tell you how I feel about the entirety of the situation, but I'm happy that you're seeing this because I want you to know that these rappers are entertainers. Like they shouldn't be your idols because mm. when you invest that much energy into them, 
then they have the ability to break your heart like it's broken now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like these dudes are are they have their own minds, they got their own money, and you're a customer. You're not their son, mm-hmm. you're not their nephew, you're right. a customer. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's been a great that's been a great thing about this whole situation. Like, cause people are really making it emotional, this whole you know, voting thing. Yeah, like, yeah. If you don't vote for my candidate, you must hate everything that I believe in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, a real crazy time right now. It really is. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah that's true. Cause that's that's like what I like I said before. Um, everybody tell you to go vote, but they don't want to know who you voted for if it was someone they didn't want you to vote yep. for. Yeah, you know what I mean. So everybody like, yeah, vote, episode, vote. Yep. Yeah, but if I tell you who I voted for, you are gonna be mad. Big <laughs> man. Yeah, they're like, yeah, go vote for my candidate. Right. Hey, that's that's yeah. the only part they leave out. That's what they should put on their signs in parentheses. Go vote for my guy. You know? yeah. <laughs> that's right. facts. All right. Well, we're gonna see this week. I, I think. Well, I was I was I was reading that. Um, we're gonna see. This is uh this is the most that uh anyone like as a country that we ever voted. I think it's like really? 96 million individuals. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yo, and they, is it gonna take them it's gonna take them two weeks to count all them votes? Yeah, it seems though. like it's gonna take them a while. Mm. Wow. And then you know I, they probably gonna want to recount too. Yo, like, I, they hand counting? Like I saw them like one, two, three. Like they was really hand. Come on, yo. I, I I saw a question online and I thought it was pretty interesting. It was should votes be counted after tomorrow? Like if you mail in your ballot today, mail in ballot specifically, obviously it's not gonna get to wherever it gotta go by tomorrow. It'll get there maybe Wednesday, Thursday. Should those votes be counted? Yeah, because it was mailed before. It's yeah. like it's like you, you know, I guess you you mail in a, 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 a your bill, right? If it's post if it's if it's stamped before the, the, the due, you good. We're not getting disconnected, huh? Yeah. Okay. They definitely gonna toss a lot of those. <laughs> Magas disagree. Magas disagree. They're like, nah, nah, nah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. If you didn't make it on two, if it didn't get there by Tuesday to get counted, then it should. Yeah. Like, why would why would why would you wait till tomorrow to mail out your ballot? That's because <laughs> most magas pay their bill before the due date. They got money. <laughs> wow. <Wow. laughs> you trying <laughs> to say them's a poor? That's racist, bro. <laughs> nah, yeah, so <laughs> them's a broke, huh? <laughs> them's a poor man. Wow. <laughs> Man. That's why they think like that. Yo. They think about uh, that. I think I think Ann's behind that ma- that mega Karen. Uh, <laughs> right, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> that's his troll account. That's the funniest. That's shit. his burner I account, right? Day, oh, man, the burner. <laughs> 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 all right. So I guess we. Oh, I didn't. I didn't go. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go landslide Trump. Well, not a landslide. Nah. Wow. Really yo, they said one percent is show. considered a landslide in this joint. Right. What? Oh yeah. That's what they yeah. said, but well, who knows? Well, okay. Yeah, like well, I said see. last episode, I, I haven't seen this many minorities, and minorities are, you know, a, a big portion of this. So. Yo, you saw Florida? What? Nah. You saw all them Cubans out there, all them Lat- Latinos out there supporting Trump? Yo. Say like, you see that? deep, bro. Did. You saw I it? They was having a party. Mm-hmm. It's a party. It's a party everywhere, to be honest. Like, That's his people's, bro. Yeah. I got that off for the next two days mm-hmm. for the election. Like they having a party and everything. Like they having a whole gathering, like like refreshments and beverages all night, like type situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this... But that's wow. just because it, it's, it's turned into like a Super Bowl halftime show level thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's what everybody's doing, man. So yeah, I see. I definitely seen that. I definitely seen that, man. I spoke to some of the some of the relatives down there too. They they confirmed it. Like it's definitely like that. Wow. You you were cutting off a little bit earlier. Did you say that you were having a party, you know, for election nah, day? Nah, <laughs> not him. Nah. nah. Slander. <laughs> he like, I ain't no party. Yo. Put that on me. <laughs> said, watch your mouth, beloved. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Available now. Shop that that's not Christian.com. <laughs> All right. So uh yo, recently, man, I saw Dayton, right? Uh, Dayton from G.O. Where at? Oh, I saw him online on IG, and he oh, posted okay. up. This oh, I saw rap- him too. He posted up this rapper called Monster Tarver, right? Okay, they did a song together. 
Yeah, they were on the the last uh, CHH uh, ain't ain't dead, right? They, he was on the last project as well. So I see the post, and he goes, "Yo, why does this dude dissed me?" <laughs> right. And I listen to the track, and it's this dude going you. off. He He's, didn't diss him though. Well, he didn't diss him. It wasn't really a diss. I think it what was. I think about he was paying switch? homage. I think he was. He he was paying homage. You know what I'm Definitely. saying? Definitely. But the way Dayton put it out was, "Yo, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me. clickbait. It's clickbait. Yeah, for so, sure." So. Someone that he mentioned was Sailor. Mm. Right, Ooh. Sailor? Yeah, he mentioned all of us. He mentioned the whole team. Yeah. He mentioned the whole team. Yeah. Yo, that's interesting though. He, that's interesting because he, he he I don't I don't remember him mentioning so many rappers from any other labels, you know, just that was interesting. <laughs> I think I think because of the relationship, right? I think he named people that if they talk back to him, it would have actually been something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like the rappers he named, if if one of us went that route and, and responded, it it have probably been worth the listen like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So well, he he, out- he he named he named some elite some elite MCs for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I understood, but I guess when, you know, I'm from I'm from New York, man. Like, so when I see the headline and I see this in there and Dayton saying this, right. I'm just right, like. Like my mature my maturity is the only reason why I didn't just write without even listening to it. Right. Mm. When I saw this, I'm triggered that way. You like, was okay. ready. You was ready. Yeah. But like now that I've gotten like a little older, I was like, let me check it out before I respond. Right. So I checked it out. And it almost still didn't matter because it was just a challenge. It wasn't disrespect. It was a right. challenge. Right. And, right. Which I respect. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna show him respect back. Right. And um it was it was on the way. And then I got the I got the phone call to tell me to chill. So, <laughs> Yo, chill, chill, chill. Yo, we need that exclusive, man. We gonna leak it. <laughs> right, right. Wait, it was on the way, meaning that it was on the way to get recorded, or it was recorded. So I took I saw I was taking the Amtrak to to Buffalo, and from Yonkers to Buffalo was like six and a half, seven hours. So like, I I heard about it at hour three. And by hour four, it was done. Wow. Like, I, had, I had like 30 something like ready. And I hit up um, AI's husband. I was like, yo, who in Buffalo could make this down for me? Because this guy, because because the rule is I got 24 hours to respond or stick. Right. Like, Shout out to Josh too, man. So like, I was like, yo, I need somebody to mix this down for me. I got I to gotta pull work out. And he was like, yo, I got you. And he, you know, reached out to everybody else. And um. Only by the grace of God, I reached out to one bro about the situation. He was like, yo, chill, chill, chill. Nah, we're not doing that. (laughs) (laughs) So you let him live. You let him live. (laughs) Nah, yo, it would have been fun, man. I like stuff like that. I think that's what the genre is is missing, to be honest, because everybody's so contact in this joint. You know what I'm saying? And it's like everybody wants to go full-blown unified spiritual when it comes to competition. Like, no, we're brothers and sisters in Christ. (laughs) <laughs> but that but that brothers and sisters stuff don't come into play when they don't like something you said on the record they air right. you out with comments right, you know what i'm saying right right so, mm. like, i might love my brother but if we play live you know a madden on, on on the game i'm not gonna let him win because he's my brother in christ now nah, i'm gonna try to beat him on the game right you know right know? right that's not the christian stuff. thing to do right like <laughs> so like with this rap thing if you challenge it all right cool like i respect you so i'm gonna talk back to you if i didn't respect right. you i didn't say nothing so I think I think Monster could rap. Like it's a it's a fact that he could rap. So yeah. of course I'm on, you know what I'm saying? But right, you know, you know how it go, man. Yeah, I thought I thought I thought it I thought it was I thought it was dope. I thought it was dope. And and and, and when he came in in the second verse, when he started name dropping everybody, I was like, I was like, okay, he went the Kendrick route, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, cool. Like, you know, and, and it just reminded me of that because they all friends, but they all trying to like rip everybody's heads off. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, I was like, okay, cool. And I was, I was hoping for a response. The only responses I seen was when I posted it to CHHTS, like mad comments, people talking about he can't rap, he need to wrestle. And this, and I was like, yo, this was, this was, yeah. I thought it was dope, man. Like, what are y'all talking about? Y'all just, yeah, y- y- y'all just listen to hip hop different. You know, you yeah, used, to the, used to the wavy, you know what I'm saying, type of music and all that. Like, you know, if it don't, it don't, if it don't got auto tune, y'all ain't vibing to it. That's not the type of hip hop fan I am. You my, know what I mean, my yep. thing is, 
my thing is that you can have your opinion and say something you don't like something like that's cool but mm-hmm. the moment you say something trash i need receipts to validate right. you being or somebody trash right you feel me like i need that's your extreme. sound cloud link. drop your sound cloud <laughs> <laughs> Because if you're going to call that man trash, I need I need like right. something about that you have the right to say that. Yo. A lot of people are talking like. Yo, and, talking. and it's not like they would say it to his face. That dude is big. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on. That's a big dude. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I think yeah. I see a Jared say, did you see his arms? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> yeah I, told, I, told, I told Jared. He said, he, told, he said, what you want me to do? I said, I'll wrestle here. He was like, you don't love me, bro. Nah, yeah. <laughs> He said, he said, you don't love me. <laughs> now, for, the, for, your, break his arm, yeah. for you that don't know out there, Monster Tarver was in the WWE. He's He was actually a pro wrestler. For, yeah, for real. For, for a while. He was part of the, uh, what was it, Nexus? They were a group um, in WWE. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if he was, um, Sailor, do you know if he was saved during his time while he was wrestling? Or was there like a transition? I don't know. I, honestly, I, I've known about him for a minute now. Um, since well well before last year, I knew about him. So I'm not sure if he was a Christian wrestler, but I know he definitely met the Lord while he was like in the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? So Okay. Um, I'm not sure, but as I mean, I, that dude, he still he still lifts weights and trains like he's about to be on Monday Night Raw. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's not a game. Like, it's not a game. Right. right. <laughs> you know, my... Yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Now I was gonna say I thought I I thought his rap was all right. I I you know what I'm saying I listened to that joint. I was listening to what he was saying. He was I thought he was spitting, and it was crazy how everybody was like, "Man, this dude sucks." Blah blah blah. I'm like, wow. You know, you know the thing was I think I think certain people it, it's it's certain ways they see it. You know what I mean? Like one thing that's that control beat, which is a dangerous beat to get on because of the way that Kendrick just slid on that mm-hmm. beat. You know what I mean? I think King Loso did something on there too as well. And I think he slid on there too. But I think people see that like, if you're going to come at these artists, a Sayla, Bizu, you know what I mean? Their favorite artists, like you got to go above and beyond. You know what I mean? And I think that's probably why he got a little bit of pushback. I don't, I'm, I'm with Sayla. Like, I don't think, people should be calling people trash you know what i mean unless it's lebron then that's fine you know what i mean <laughs> nah my bad <laughs> sorry <What? Jay. laughs> we're gonna edit that out nah, we, no, that's not Christian. talking all that trash <laughs> but <laughs> but you know and then some people took it personal like oh this bring is your receipts it. though <laughs> right, yeah, i'm ready right. to pull. go ahead what's let's up see you, let's, let's, let's go you shoot a three let's, let's see you let's see you i'll shoot it like that. obama like obama shot that three right. you want a better you want a better bottle of brugar well, say that five times fast. <laughs> you better, better, better. <laughs> but listen, this is my thing. Uh, I think people also took it personal, personal, like, oh, this is so income, some kind of discord. I really think that they took it like a real diss. And I'm like, it wasn't even that serious. Like, if you nah. li- it's almost like people don't even listen fully through. They just read the caption and just say, oh, this is a diss. But they're not. Right. Right. Not real Who you rappers, fools listen bro. to music or just skim through it, you know? They're not they not real rappers, bro. If you if you if you think you could rap or you feel like you're a rapper and you got diss from that verse, you're not a rapper. Like it's not it's not in you like that. Because right. any rapper with any kind of ear could see that that was just a challenge. And that's what rappers do, man. Like, like yo, I'm I, I joke about it on Twitter, but like, yo, me and my brother spar all the time. Right. All the time, you know what I'm saying? I've 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 gotten records from people, and got the message: Yo, don't die, don't get killed, on a feature. <laughs> <laughs> like mm. that's how we are. But I mean, like, yo, it, of course it's love. Of course I don't feel disrespected by that. It's a warning, yo. I went crazy on this record. Make sure you keep up. That's right. hip hop, man. Right. That's hip-hop. It's a contact sport for sure. Yeah, man. Like, come on now, like. Like, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why people just want to want that kind of controversy so bad. Where they're gonna name something something that it obviously isn't. But that's, right. that's not cool. Like, say what it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yeah. Definitely, man. So yeah. Um. I mean, and I would say for him to be careful because 
after I heard these last two records from Sela and Fern, yo, uh, they definitely got the momentum yeah. right now. So I, I definitely wouldn't want to engage on a lyrical combat. <laughs> yeah, man. Love- tell tell us a little it. bit about what you got going on. Um, I see you got the Silencer series, right? The 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 you, you got a couple like, singles was- drops. Like, I feel like God just kind of dropped everything that I have right now in my lap during the pandemic. Um, None of this existed. It wasn't planned. It was just me, like, being in the cave. I can't go outside because it's the pandemic stopped everything in New York. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in my house. I built a studio. That's how much time I had. Like, I built a studio from scratch. You know what I'm saying? Fed, like, 30 families you know, for the pandemic, like I had the um, the, the 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 verses for nurses initiative, so like I was doing features to to help people buy groceries because they couldn't That's work. Dope. You know? That's dope. Wow. And, and then all of a sudden, like Fern just hit me up. We had already been in contact already, but like just sporadically, like yo, what's up? How you doing? You know, I'm good. And he was like, yo, you know what I don't like about CHH right now. And then that conversation was like, yeah, I don't like this neither. I don't like that neither. All right, right so what we going to do about it? And that's where these records came from, us being tired of complaining about it and just doing something. You know what I'm saying? So that's where exactly all of it came from, man. And and we just been working. Yo, Fern gives me a 16 a day. Like, he sends me a 16 a day. Wow. It's been wow. Like, six months it's been like that. Every day is 16. So, mm. It's just great being challenged by them like that. Like, it's dope. It's dope, and I love it. And we're going to put out a lot of music, man. A lot of music, yo. That's fire. That's So fire. now, is this going to keep dropping, like, one by one? Is this going to be a collective thing? Or I mean, it's still undecided? I mean, a lot, a lot is undecided, even though a lot is decided, if that makes sense. Like, I'm I'm dropping them as they, as they finish. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got a lot of stuff together, but as far as getting the visualizers, like the movie theme joints that y'all been saying, like we're very intentional about which mo- which movie we attach to which song. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not like a random choice, like, oh, whatever. Nah, what does this song feel like? What movie does this song feel like? So uh, that part of it takes a little bit of time, but we got a bunch of music, man. We got a bunch of music coming, yo. Like, it's, it's going to be cold. It's gonna be cold winter. Like, <laughs> Put on your hoodies, man. Yeah, you know what I mean, and we got a hoodie season four coming out too. Man, there's only one dude that can make me re-energize the hoodie season series. There's only one dude, and the reason why it's him is Adam. because I, like his mixtape series and my mixtape series are destined to do one big project, and that's Dre Murray. Mm. Like Ooh. if Murray, you featured him on already. Yeah, yeah. If the Else Paradise series was groundbreaking in this space. You know what I'm saying? So if he'd be like, yo, I need you to dust the hoodie season sail out off one more time, and he wanna, there you know, go. let's make it happen. Other, then that'll happen. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, hoodie season is gonna chill, man. Like, you know, like, but he could do it. So I'm let's saying go. on camera, he could do it. So it's up there. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Y'all gonna be moving bricks of coffee and all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, that's dope, man. Mm-hmm. We definitely appreciate you, man. We 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 thank you, man, for for you know what I mean, building with us and everything, man. Anything else you got in store uh that you can let the people know that you that you got coming out or plan on, on coming out? Yeah, I mean, you know. Hopefully, hopefully this this hoodie that I ordered come through from y'all. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Which, which hoodie you talking about? Which hoodie you talking about? I say there was like I don't you know I, I'm not really familiar with a lot of legal terminology, but I think I think it had something to do. With, I got a, a lot of attorney friends. Something and desist. I don't know. I don't know what the other one. <laughs> but. <laughs> uh, I thought it was great, great craftsmanship when I saw it online. So, like, hopefully it gets to me soon out there. Um, but, man, yeah, man, we, me and Fern going to just keep dropping music, man. The, the family's going to keep dropping music. And, um, you know, there's going to be a, there's going to be sporadic little freestyles here and there. Like, I'm going to just stay active the whole year. 
like to the years out because I feel like 2020 is it's it, it's just an amplifier of who you are. So I right. want to show 2020 that I'm productive and I'm active. So I'm gonna just keep dropping music, man. Oh, so y'all just, just finish keep y'all strong. Up. Finish strong, now, how, yo. How how has 2020 affected you? The pandemic. I mean, I'm sure that um, even in CHH, a lot of the shows and stuff like that, and the tours. Like, has that affected a lot of you guys that are, you know what I mean, ministering and, and doing shows and stuff like that? Hey, bro, let me make something very, very clear. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy that you asked me that, too. Everyone has been affected, no matter mm-hmm. how little or large. Everyone has to be aware that they've been affected as well. I'm actually doing a conference, a virtual conference uh, next month called COVID-20. Okay. And in that in that conference, I'm addressing all of the all of the things that have affected you that you may not be aware of mentally, physically, emotionally. Like you might think, oh, I may be asymptomatic or it didn't touch me or nobody died in my family or I kept working. I'm fine. Nah, you got touched and you need to know that you got touched and be aware. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's affected me in that it's 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 pushed ad- adaptation. You know what I'm saying? Any any negative situation or any change in the environment is going to cause either the adaptation or you're going to fold. So I've definitely had to adapt. I've had to lean on God in a different way. Right. Um, and I believe, you know what I'm saying? I believe I'm, I'm very different than, than, than I was earlier this year. Like I'm very different and um, I think it's for the better. So right. um, you know, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Yo, let's let's um. I want to ask you a question, man. Let's go back to you. You had said um. I want to ask you to expound. You had said that you had helped thirty families. Can you talk about yeah. that? Yeah, man. I I just like when I talk to my friends, my love about what they're going through. Um, I just realized like we talk. You know, you hear you hear the word white privilege, the term white privilege spoken about, and you know, it's 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 easier to explain than what I'm about to. Like, if I have a job, when ev- when a lot of people don't have jobs, yeah. If I got money, when a lot of people don't got money, I'm in a position of privilege at that point, right? You know, what I'm saying? and I kept my job. I was working regularly. You know, what I'm saying everybody in my family was healthy. It was like God was throwing me a thousand alley oops. So right. for me to see those blessings and not help nobody, I felt would have been trash. You know, what I'm saying so. I started that initiative. I noticed a lot of our medical healthcare professionals was like doing crazy shifts, trying to help people, trying to keep people alive, trying to keep people healthy. Yeah. And a lot of them didn't have daycare money because they was just at the hospital all the time. A lot of them were just tired. They needed some kind of uplift. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you know what? I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start with the nurses. So I started doing verses for half price and I would give like 90% of the proceeds to somebody else. Wow! But then I ran out of nurses. It was like, who else now? So I just started to give regular families, man. And I just started wow. doing it over and over again, man. We ended up filling up 30 refrigerators, like I think 100 to $150 a clip. Wow. 30 families. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Um, the yeah. blessing in it, I believe God blessed me with the firm situation as like, as a result of my, my service. Right. I really feel like that because it really came out of nowhere. You know really? what I'm saying? Um. But yeah, man. That joint, it, that joint got over money for real. For real. Yo, for real, for God real. Prove it. He made me prove it. He right. was like, yo, is it got over money? All right, let's see. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thankful let's for that. Let's go. That's dope. I remember, right. um, praise God. And, and when, before you did that, I remember, um, I think you dropped like a note in the barbershop chat and you were like, yo, anybody in here needs, you know, anything. That's right. I did see that. That's hit, right. Hit yeah. me on the side. You know what I'm I saying? I remember that. Yeah, and I was like, "Yo, that's 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 pretty dope, man." That's you know, but like, if I did not help my brothers, man. It's backwards, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause n- nobody I gave bread to, I knew. So I'm like, "Yo, I got this. I got this paper to help people. Let me ask my bros." And that's why I said, like, no, not everybody may feel comfortable saying it out loud that I need help. So I'm right. like, "Yo, hit, you know, hit me on the direct if you need bread." Ain't no, ain't, ain't nothing, ain't nothing left, you know, not manly about asking for help. Like, right. holla, at me, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, and, and it'll always be like that. If I start that up again, if one of y'all in this room need paper and I start that up, like, hit me up. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
we supposed to hold That's each other love. down. Appreciate that. You know? That's love. Facts. Awesome, I need them. Bro. I need some new Jordans for real. This guy. <laughs> nah, come on. How you just go? Come Get on. this guy out of here, yo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yo, yo, you gotta watch out for them. Yo, bars, say like that. Right. You see, you, you see, see me on the ground, like yo, yeah, got some new dunks. You know what I mean? Yo, Shouts out to my yo. man. Say yo, like. these dudes from the Bronx be having fake charities and all that, man. Oh man, <laughs> see. He said, save a Puerto Rican family, right? <laughs> Help with <Okay>. shoes. <laughs> this guy. That's the dude that's trying to rob people for their antibodies right there. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> that's not Christian. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, man. Wow. Sailor, we, we appreciate you, man. Um, if you want to drop your... You know your IG for the people that don't know. I'm pretty sure everybody's well, pretty familiar with you who you are. But right. anything you want to drop on here, you know what I mean. You can do it right now. We'll definitely put the links in the bio as well. Yeah, man. I am the corner um, on everything. You can just put that in your search engine, and I'll be all over the place. Um, yeah, and just and watch. That's not Christian, man. Like y'all are necessary. I was telling you, I was telling Jay the same thing, man. Like. The space needs you guys. Like it really does, cause Appreciate opinions, that. opinions need to be challenged with boldness. And that's what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? And y'all are like the only ones right now who are who are challenging people. So God bless you guys, man. Y'all doing a great job and y'all are necessary, yo. Yo, appreciate, appreciate those kind of words, man. Bless us to you. Yo, thanks for the time, man. You know, just taking the time out to, you know, to you join. Know. Yo, this yeah. dude dropping this, this dude's dropping songs. He's feeding families, man. Word. You know what I mean? Definitely appreciate He's your outside. time coming on here. You know what I mean? Yeah, for <laughs> real, for real. You uh, take it up dude. north trips to Buffalo and all that. Yo. Right. Yeah, man. Listen, send me that special send me, teams. Send me that track that you got. Um Monster Tava, don't worry, this man. Guy, we won't let man. nobody know. I want to see something. I want to see something right quick. <laughs> I want to hear the most. Let me hold that. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something, bro. Like. Man, you it's crazy because I was telling I was telling the homie before I when it comes to stuff like that, yeah, I still need to grow in Christ because man, I was I was <laughs> so excited to like take the board out. I was so excited. I yo, I was writing, I was writing furiously, I was writing fast. I was like, yo, why am I so happy to say something to this dude right now? <laughs> this dude went, oh dog. It was just flowing, wasn't it? He went, yo, oh, he, he went like, bishop yo, with the burner. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. And I was like, yo, because that's a part of me that never gets spoken to ever in this space. Nobody does that. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, yo, I get to have some fun. Let's have some fun, you know, right. but. That shouldn't be what I see as fun. Like. <laughs> I mean, I felt like it would have been dope because that probably would have started something or maybe other artists coming at him, you know what I mean? And they're like younger artists who are overlooked, you know what I mean? Or, you know, I, I think Z Zadok has said something like, yo, you know what I mean? Like he, him defending Seven, you know what I mean? Because he's coming from Seven camp. Not so much Seven speaking back, but him just speaking on that behalf, you know what I mean? Or... Any other artist that's just like, yo, you know what I mean? It'd be, it would have been cool. It would have been like a challenge in a way, but. But it ain't no it different ends. than like the battle rapping, right? I mean. Right. Yeah. You know but Lowe's does it, right? Yo, it's, yo, I think it's it's touchy. It's touchy in this space. I'm playing devil's advocate. <laughs> I understand. I understand it's touchy, but I like there's, there's, a, there's a benefit that's being overlooked to that situation. Because when you know it's love ahead of time, when you know, right. you, man, got love for you and it's not negative yeah. it turns into something totally different it really right. turns into a sharpening session you know what i'm saying so right but unless but unless you've been in in, in, in competition like that, i was in, come on we all from areas like that it's competition our whole life you yeah. know what i'm saying mm -hmm. whether good or bad so you don't look at all competition as negative like it's part right. of your life absolutely you know? man you see that you see that in sports even like even in the streets when you slap boxing with somebody or if you did right. any type of martial arts you know what i mean you you have to spar with somebody in order to get better that's the only way even even fighters before they go for a big fight they hire people to spar with before the right. main event you know what i mean so i think i think it would definitely would have been great for CHH because a lot of these dudes would have to step up the bars, you know what I mean? Which I I, I think I think it would have helped too because I I feel like a lot of artists are stagnant, you know what I mean? I I think I you don't see that a lot from 
from GOM because everybody's a killer. Like lyrically, I think anybody on GOM could stand alone. You know, everybody. And you don't see that with a lot of camps. You know what I mean? And I think it shows in in you know in the lyrics. But yeah, let me say this. Um, I don't think it's any different than like kind of like what you want to do right now, right? Because a lot of the stuff you're doing with Fern came about as like, yo, people we, they're not doing this right now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, and by the joints you doing, it's it's almost them hood street joints, but right. you know, it's it's different. You know what I'm saying? So, like you hitting, like y'all creating a lane there. Yeah. By by yeah. doing it, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's dope. I mean, I, I think that's sort of similar there. We trying to create a space where something like that could happen in the future and be right. okay. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times. A lot of times somebody won't tell you that they can't do what you do. They'll just tell you that what you're doing is wrong so that you won't mm-hmm. do it. In, so that they won't have to. Wow. That's neat. It. Right. Like, it's like, yo, you guys are, you guys are telling each other and that's bad. But what they really want to say is I can't do nothing with that. Like if I wanted to battle you too, I couldn't do it. So I'm gonna make you feel bad for being better at me than something. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what I want to speak to in people like, <laughs> like, it's all right to be honest. Like I'm, I'm not a basketball player. I'm not a pro athlete. If LeBron James dunks from the, from from the baseline, I'm not going to be like, "Yo, dunking is a sin," because <laughs> that's I not can't fair, dunk. <laughs> right? Like, like I just can't dunk. That's just what it is. So like, if you see dudes rapping back and forth, don't demonize it because you can't do it. Just sit, right. just say you're my lane. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But. You know, God gonna get the glory anyway. Yo, that's like real, the, the real gonna survive, yo. The real's gonna survive. Like they are. Yo, those are the type of dudes that get mad when you win in and then be like, I'm taking my ball home. Yep. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think that's dope though. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't been done, but y'all, y'all, y'all got it. Like I could blaze that trail right there. Y'all keep pushing like that. Man, that that set up a whole new, yo, that's a whole new, you know what I'm saying, lane. Type of thing, yo, that'll be dope. Yeah. Praise God. Uh, sure. It can be done though. That joint is fire. So I need that on um um well it, it, it ain't it's just on YouTube right now, right? Yeah, it's on um we will I I was gonna release it on another platform. I mean, we are spitting to another, you know, industry right. beat so but yeah, so you can't really yeah. Bandcamp don't care, right? Yeah, but it's but it, it's it's a cinematic it's the cinematic experience that we push yeah. for, right? You know what I'm saying. So I want I want you to, I want the, the the viewer to see the totality of it, like the imagery, the lyrics on screen, and the, the lyrics that you're hearing. You know what I'm saying? Like even the font, our font choice is specific, right? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. So, Yo, that's facts, like, though. Yo, that's you know, facts because you you sent me the, you sent me the track ahead of time. And I thought that joint was dope. Yes, yes, I'm flexing. That's right. <laughs> he, he sent me that joint, and, and and then I I didn't think it could it could get better. He's like, it's not finished, right? And then this dude sent me the, the video, and yeah. I was like, whoa, you know what I mean? I was like, I was like, wow, you know what I mean? So, so I I definitely agree that the cinematic experience plays a big role too, because you know what I mean the the lyrics and the song, you know. The, and then and then it's 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 uh there's the typography right it's like a lyric video you know mm-hmm. and then it just take the music is like it's like a time machine man it take me back to that era you know what i mean because of the, the the films that you guys picked as well it took me back to that era you know it just it just connected so so well you know what i mean like you guys really put some thought into it yeah yeah praise god yo i we just wanted we wanted we wanted that reaction that's what we wanted like for those who feel like auto tune rules the world, like <laughs> we we just wanted to give y'all and give us a moment to just enjoy rap again. You know what I'm saying? Um, and just just have some fun, man. Just have some fun listening to hip hop, making hip hop. Like it just yeah. it, for us rappers, it hasn't been fun for a while. That's how I feel like. Like for us rapper rappers, like mm-hmm. un- unless you want to do a thousand melodies, it don't seem like this is your time. So like we just wanted to rap again. Yeah, that's dope too. Cause, like y'all said, for those that are, um, you know, you got to be even more intentional, more creative. 
what you're doing by not cursing. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you got to make sure everything you spit in is heard. So yeah, that joint, that that that's what that's what makes me like it even more. Makes what what makes it even more dope, because. You know what I'm saying? What you spitting, what you trying to spit, you know, you, you could easily slip some language out <laughs> on, on them type of joints. All right. But you got to be real intentional about it, man. And that make it even more dope, though, because I could still, you know, bust your behind and I ain't even got a curse. Like, right. That's dope. <laughs> and you can listen to it in the car with the kids. <laughs> and that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and tell them to fight back. Right. <laughs> fight back. <laughs> Still talk greasy though. We just talk right. greasy in a, in a in a more like it's like I don't feel like I don't feel like I don't feel like there's any more innocent ears on planet Earth right nah. now. With the advent of technology, like yeah. everybody, everybody could get it at any second. Like it could be a commercial and then your baby's whole life get changed. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So it's like the whole world is rated all right now. Mm-hmm. Everything. The cartoons is rated all like everything. Even like I seen an ice cream commercial that made me look crazy. Like at it, like yo, why are you why are you eating the ice cream like that? Like it's just ice cream. Like it's yeah. crazy. They everything, you know what I'm saying? So wow. I'm not talking. I'm not making music that's kid friendly because ain't no more kids to me. It's just adults that ain't old yet because mm-hmm. of what they've been exposed to. So I'm talking greasy though. I'm talking greasy, but I don't got to use profanity with you because I want you to know there's still a standard to uphold, but I don't want to hold reality from you. You know right. what I'm saying? But we talk greasy though. Like, like Fern talks greasy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like we're not going to, we're not going to stoop to nobody else's level. We still going to be ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Yo, the Bible talks about the realities of life, man. You know what I mean? Like, so why should the bars be any different? You know, like whole families got murked. You know what I mean? Like all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? Like dudes got nails through their through their ears <laughs> while they were sleeping. You know what I mean? Like all kinds of crazy stuff, man. Nope. Now the Bible, the Bible is definitely a, a, a rated R book. Yeah. But then we have then we have to reassess what we consider rated R though, because. I believe all all the all the bloodshed in the Bible is necessary. That's what I believe. Absolutely so if I'm necessary. Then I have to change how I look at things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? And it's basically like you know the Bible is the word of God to me. So I don't I don't I don't look at it as a green light to create those scenarios in my own life. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna demonize all situations that have to do with those kind of situations because. They're in the Bible, man. There's a lot of murder in the Bible, bro. A mm-hmm. lot of people get smoked. Whole families get smoked. Yeah. Like Saul, Saul got his crown taken from him because he wouldn't smoke everybody and everything. Like, think about that, man. Right. Right. You know so it's like people can people confront on this faith and this belief system. Like it's all bubbles and roses if they want, but the documentation says otherwise, man. Right. You know, right. And, and that's the, the world we live in needs that kind of message. It needs that kind of wake up call. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can love somebody, but be realistic about life. Like you can, right. you can be compassionate and love your neighbor and still tell them, yo, this is a real, real thing that's, that's happening. Like you gotta be able to keep that balance. You know what I'm saying? And right, God right, is, right. God is the only way we can keep that. Absolutely, man. Trust the Lord, but lock your doors and keep the hammer. I like that. <laughs> Boss. I like that. I like that a lot. That's, That's on a shirt. <laughs> That's on that shirt. <laughs> That's on the shirt. It's coming. It's coming. Yo, I, I, That's fire, man. <laughs> so we interrupt this portion of the show to talk about our channel sponsor, Eurific. Eurific oh. is a wand, sanitizing wand. Because I know you've been thinking in this pandemic era, what can I do to be more safe? You know, so I one of the best that. things. Yeah, one of the best things you could do is you could get a Eurific wand. It's simple, easy, rechargeable. It is an ultraviolet light. You take it, you turn it on, put it on your phone, just simply go over it, and you've killed a good amount of germs. So with that being said, go to Eurific.com, go purchase it. It's on sale right now. You're going to get free shipping, and you're also going to get $10 off by using the special code. Now you're going to ask me, what's that special code? And it's simply easy. I was it is code 
TNC. That's it. Voila. You are blessed now. Thank you for uh, listening. And we now return to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yo, this, this dude is good, man. <laughs> like he's been practicing that in front of the yeah. mirror every morning, right? <laughs> yeah, Yo, he had the whole thing down. That's fly. I like that. I'm gonna get like you that. terrific. <laughs> no, terrific is man. terrific. Yo, we yeah, need a so, uh, we need a jingle for your terrific. That's for sure. Right. It, it yeah. could start with something about CHH getting cleansed. <laughs> oh, you mean like you what trying to get? Mean? You trying to? Like wipe out people? You trying to? What do you mean? Yeah, what does that mean? To, what nah, that mean? nah, nah. We're not gonna wipe out people. I mean, so some people saying? might think certain people should be wiped out, but nah, we Christian here. <laughs> so what I was thinking is, you know, wipe away any fixing, beef, right? Yeah, wipe away any beef. You know, restoration. Shout out to Cray One One Six. You already know. I like. I like oh, restoration. Wow. What a Keep plug. a One One Six. Yo, is this dude sending you bags or something? Yeah. Y'all didn't check the account. No. Nah. Oh, this dude. Oh, man. You can't see your account. This oh. dude. <laughs> Send me dude. something, man. But yeah, man. Last week, uh, we had our brother Jay from the Hip Hop's Corner. Shout, Shout out to out. the crew. Crew. Shout out to him from the crew. Shout out uh, to Chris too, man. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Chris as well. Um, we had that planned ahead of time. You know what I mean? As a guest. And um, right when we were starting, usually we ask our guests, we go over the topics and we also say, hey, is there anything you want to speak about? And Jay goes, hey, you know what? I just got this a tweet. Came in the radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. Yeah. So actually just how it laid out. Just how. Yeah. Yep. Exactly how it happened. Uh, John Gibbs had made his statements regarding his label situation and uh you you all know y'all can go back to the episode and see exactly what he said um i believe that post is still up on ig as well um so yeah so when jay said that we said all right let's go for it you know what i mean let's talk about it and uh we gave our opinions on the situation um i believe that our opinions were more in favor of the label um including obviously ruslan right because his name was mentioned um, and you guys can all check, you know, what I mean, check the YouTube and all that. So um, recently, well, what was it? A couple of days ago, uh, Ruslan High responded to John Gibbs. And man, it was super impressive the way that he went about it. Right. What, what did y'all think about that whole, uh, you know, how he handled that? You know, what I mean, I think it was very gracious. Um, and he was just like an open book, just, you know, his life talking about, you know, the situation and, you know, he, he pretty much said what we were saying. Well, he, showed, how, he, he showed receipts. Yeah, he showed receipts. He, he said the same thing, like, hey, you know, he was the one that was out, you know, booking everything and shooting everything and like all this other stuff, you know. So, um, and, but what surprised the most was, you know, right at the end of the live, he gave, uh, he gave, uh, John gives his 50% of the his of half the, of the masters yeah, his, of his the masters, half, yeah. which is. Yeah, he, wow. he, he gave over he gave over his Ruslan gave over his own portion of the masters, which they had agreed upon. And and uh, John gives had agreed to. Um, through through the um, the recommendation of his lawyer, right, because he said. Uh, John Gibbs said that his lawyer said that the contract was cool, right? Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I think Ruslan was entitled to that, but he's 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 definitely a big man for giving that up to him, you know. Mm -hmm. And then and then um, something interesting happened. Ruslan um, had a conversation. He said he said with I think he said something with like his 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 friend or his brother or something like that. He didn't name him by his name. Friend, I think. Yeah, he said something mm -hmm. like that. Um, where there there was a misunderstanding, right? Yeah, simply a misunderstanding. Um, and that was it. I guess I guess John Gibbs didn't know that he was getting paid those years because John through Gibbs also, John Gibbs also had responded uh, right after Ruslan, like I think a day later. Yeah, and spoke his piece and basically he did on saying, IG Live, right? Yeah, and basically was saying, "Hey, look, you know." I ain't, I wasn't getting paid, you know what I'm saying? And um, so, you know, he spoke his piece and then Ruslan responded with that. Uh, well, he actually pinned it in like a YouTube video. Um, I think somebody screenshotted it and sent it to us and we saw it and we were like, okay, cool. 
So, you know, praise God, you know, things are getting um, reconciled and, you know, yeah. that's most important. You know, what that's I mean? the most important thing, you know, that no one sows, uh, what do you call that? Discord, right? <laughs> Causing division with, amongst the body or even right. amongst people that are outside of the body that we want to be, you know, everyone wants to be peacemakers in this whole situation. Absolutely. So, cool beans, man. Shout out to them. Shout out to Bruce Lawn. Shout, Shout out to, to Unity Dave. Restoration and all that good stuff, man. The fact that we could we could we could resolve issues without sending a cease and desist letter or taking any <laughs> type of legal action, you know what I'm saying? Like we could talk about it less than grown men, you know what I mean? Facts. Hey, and listen, man, if if y'all ever feel a certain type of way about us, you know, we not mind readers, you know what I'm saying? You know, we only gonna we only gonna speak what's on our docket, what's on our, our, our opinions on the situation. Um, you know, at us, you know what I mean? Come at us, come speak to us, you know what I mean? If you feel a certain type of way. And another thing, man, if y'all don't want your business out there, man, don't put it out in the public. You know what I'm saying? That was the era I came from. You don't want your business out there. You know, I hear people say, well, mind your business, da, da, da. Don't put your business out there in the public. You know what I'm saying? Oh, handle it, about. handle it through DM, text each other. Handle the situation, you know what I mean? Handle it graciously and privately. Or we're going to talk about it and then you're going to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but that's cool, man. That's dope, man. But, you know, there's a there's another thing that's been going around. Y'all, y'all, did y'all see um, the what, Senate? Besides COVID? No, uh, oh, the COVID. Senate have, reached, have recently pressed uh, Twitter... Facebook and IG. Well, that's the same thing. IG, Facebook. Oh yeah, yeah. censoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, I mean, me. I guess the most viral part of that was uh, Ted Cruz yelling at uh, Twitter CEO. What's his name? Dor D Dorsey. Uh, Jack Jack Dorsey. Yeah. Jack. <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> uh, I was on uh, Twitter, and uh, this is why I like Twitter because. Uh, they're over here clowning on Jack Dorsey talking about he's coming out from uh, the Israelites looking like Moses or Abraham, something like that. Because the way to do is like had a long beard, super skinny. Um, so that, that part was funny to me. But um, the Ted Cruz pretty much tell him who the hell made you, you know, the, the mediator, the boss or whatever of censorship. So the arguments of people on the right is that these big tech social media companies are censoring their views, their posts and everything. Hmm. I have mixed feelings about it. <laughs> Here's my thoughts. Um, my whole thing is this is their platform, right? Like they built this platform and it's the same thing. Like, let's say somebody's trolling us in our comments. Right. And I don't think we ever, I don't think we ever blocked anyone from our account, but let's say if we were to, right? Like that's our account. And I feel like we have the right to do as we please. So if these uh, companies or, you know, these social media companies feel like, hey, listen, we have a policy and this is, this is our guidelines for our policy. You know, we're going to, kind of censor or we're going to take out, you know, whatever we think is wrong, you know? Now, do I totally agree with that? No, because I, in my mind, I look at social media like a free market, a free place for anyone to have expression and stuff like that. But I do understand that when you're running a business, you have certain guidelines, you have certain principles, you have certain policies, you know? And I think it, it really started with, I mean, it's been going on for a while, but I think what really uh, emerged recently was the whole Hunter Biden stuff. And uh, Dorsey was kind of saying, look, like we we are not going to allow things that are supposedly hacked. Right. Because it's supposedly hacked or allegedly hacked. We're not going to allow that on our platform. You know what I'm saying? Or we're not going to allow uh, false information or whatever it may be. So I feel like. I have to respect that as well. It's their platform. They created this platform. Who am I to say, right. well, you can't do that on your own platform. And even though for me, I would, pre I would prefer the free market 
post whatever you want. Uh, well, not post whatever you want. Uh, let me rephrase that because I don't think, you know, any adult content or, or things like that. But basically, you have that freedom of, of speech, speech and expression on these platforms. Um, you know, that's just my, 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 my take on it. You know what I mean? What y'all feel about that? Nobody. Anybody? Anybody I mean, out there? We, we'll wait for Jimmy. We we all know kind of know what he's gonna say. Yeah, you guys already know what I'm gonna say. Man. So <laughs> why even why even go there? Yeah. <laughs> nah, look, man. Like, if if I go to Switch's house, right? That's Switch's house. Yo, I gotta follow his rules. I gotta I gotta I gotta, I gotta whatever he said. If he has a no shoe policy, like that's what it is. You know, like I'm not gonna impose my views on the house that he built. You know what I'm saying? And so if that's their rules, that's their rules, you know. Um, I would I would like it to be um a place like Switch said, a place where you know you're free to 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 speak your mind, you know. Um but there's you know what, there's there's other um platforms, you know, that you can do that on, you know what I'm saying? There's like parlor and a few other a few other sites that people have gone to, you know, so that they can they can have uh, they can say what they, what you know, what they, what they, uh, what they want to. You know, people don't want that. You know, they they want to go to Twitter and they want to go to Facebook and all that because of sociability. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. You know, it is what it is. You got to respect it. If you don't like it, build your own Twitter. You know, invest no, no. In, invest in somebody who mm-hmm. is building the next Twitter. You know, right. Uh, there's people out here who are doing it. You know what I'm saying? Support the other brands if you don't like it. You know. That's just what it is, man. You know what I mean? Like, do you do you do you guys think that this harms them in a way? Like the social media platforms, where people are gonna look to other um, social media platforms to to have that free market for anyone to express themselves and you know say whatever they want to say. That's tough. I I think I think I think for those that value freedom of speech. I think it may, but a lot of people, they lose accounts and they bounce back and start a new one. You know what I'm saying? Like it's nothing. I've lost accounts before. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. Like are people still rocking Gucci? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, s- some people ain't, you know, a lot of people still are, you know? Um, I still rock my Gucci belt and I tuck my, my hoodie in so everyone could see. So everybody could see it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I feel you, you know. <laughs> but you you also got I'm it in joking, Soho. Yo. You also got it in Soho. You got it on, on Canal Street, right? So yeah, Canal. Oh, so it's, it's, a little, Gucci. it's a it's a little different. <laughs> that Fucci. <laughs> 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 but you know what Gucci. I mean, like. And have y'all heard like both both sides are like complaining right now? Like it's like both of them have an issue. Both or is it I, mainly I just, the right? I don't. Everybody I don't, I don't want government in any industry. That's just my, you know, that's just my opinion. I don't care. Right. I don't want no government in any industry. Word. But the minute, the minute, coming into podcasting. You know what I'm saying? Like, that. yeah, the, 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 you know, next thing you know, government's going to be in there trying to legislate it. You can say this. You can't say that. You got to pay for a licensing fee. You got to. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like you said, mm-hmm. man, then, 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 you know, everybody can't podcast. You know? They're going to take because Jay's job. You know, shit. They're going to be a random dude in a suit right there to my night. You can't say that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Land in the plane. Huh? Right. That's pretty deep. That's deep right there. Yeah, man. It's it's just crazy. You know, and it. So that's know. how it starts. You're saying that's that this is where this is the starting point, And that's how far it can go. If they continue to push these, yo, ideas. it could go mad extreme. Like in 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 Cali, they were voting on should uh, the porn industry use condoms, right? And it wasn't just that because they wanted to create a government position where someone would be in charge of that, like to monitor on porn sites if they were like if they were using condoms. Like, why do we need government? Why do we need to create a government job for that? You know what I'm saying? Like, who yeah. wants that job, yo? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> this, I gotta go, you know, I got I gotta go to 10 porn sites today to make sure that people like, bro, we don't need we don't need government nah, in any know. industry, you know what I'm saying? Like, however you feel about pornography, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a whole different argument, but we just don't need government in every industry. I just feel like it's just not necessary, you know what I mean? And right. and, and 
we don't need government in 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 uh social media you know like they got their hands on too many things and just many- to clarify we do not endorse porn at all no not at all I mean, not at all believers. Because, uh, like, like i said we i said in the porn. last podcast <clears throat> Um, I struggle with pornography in the past. You know what I mean? I don't condone pornography. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's definitely at least a sexual sin. It is a sexual sin because Jesus said that if you lust, you know, if you look at a woman with lust, you know what I mean? You've already committed adultery. You know what I'm saying? So Shaba. I, yo, that's what it Speak is. Speak on man. it, brother. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, that's what that's where we stand officially as a podcast, you know, just 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 to clear up any type of confusion. You know what I mean? For real. But yeah, yeah, that's good stuff, man. I, I I I could, you know, and that's how I feel. You know what I mean? This is their platform. They created it. Listen, they invested their time, their money, their energy. They uh they built this up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like what 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 part, what role did the government play in creating Facebook? You know what I'm saying? I mean, now you could argue that the government has funded Facebook and a couple of other these organizations. I think that they get gotten like four hundred million dollars in uh in um in tax dollars if i'm mm-hmm. not mistaken really yeah so has apple and um google uh i think google got the most i, I gotta look at the numbers again but it's in the like 400 600 and 800 million dollars i just don't know who got what you know but in the beginning when it when it first started like government didn't play a role in that you know what i'm saying like government didn't help twitter be created you know like right. government doesn't create any industries right Except more government. And and this seems to be telling towards individuals as well, as far as where they're getting their news information from. All right. It's like social media is a new way of getting news information. And most people, not most, but a lot of people that I have seen uh, tend to just read a headline. Even with right. they do it even with our with our with our own pod, you know what I'm saying? Like they answer the question with before even listening to the entire podcast, you know what I'm saying? We'll put Active who's the code. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, we'll put like who's the sick, uh, you know, what about an LGBT rapper? Oh, what kind of question is that? All nah, right. we'll listen to the whole episode, right. get the right. details, get you know what I mean? All right. Obviously, and that, you know, that's how those news stories are written. They usually because they know that people don't read past the headlines, mm-hmm. you know. Right. And obviously, you know, let y'all know we do things not so much for clout, but for searchability, you know what I mean? We know that hey, we put this title out, we put it like this. People are gonna be searching for these keywords, right? We do our homework and our stuff, and you know, it's just like people just answer our question without even like taking the time to listen right. or completely. You know what I mean? It's right. like yo, listen to the joint first. You know what I mean? Same thing with the with the media headlines. You read something, don't be sending me uh, clips or something that you ain't even watch yet. Yo, 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 <laughs> yo! Since you're on the subject, man. Since you're on the subject, like just a quick little tangent, man. I hate it when people send me like a 15 minute video. You know what I'm saying? First of all, don't send me a 15 minute video, especially about Trump. You know, it, and then, and then, you know, second, like a video that you didn't even watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, bro, I'm I hate not that. Any- anyway, yeah, it, it, yo, <laughs> seriously, like if it's not a minute long, like I'll wait Word. a minute. If they couldn't, if they couldn't and then I'll summarize tap. that. Yeah. <laughs> They could have summarized like, that. Double tap, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm not watching that 15 minute video, dog. Like, it's just can't you know, do it. I, you know, yeah, go mm-hmm. ahead. Now, nah, I, nah. I, get, I get five minute video look, or like, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I don't even I don't even watch five minute videos on IGTV. I don't even I don't even like IGTV. You know what I mean? If it's longer than a minute, I'm not doing it, bro. Like, I go. So I do. I so for those listening, I do. I do the editing right in the little bit of graphic design on the thumbnails. Like a lot of times, I don't know how to do stuff, and so I go on YouTube and I figure it out. I ask a question: How do you, you know, X Y Z? I always pick the video that's like two, three minutes long. Why am I going to watch a twenty minute video? Like get to the point. You know what I'm saying? Like so, don't send me no fifteen minute videos, please, please, please. You know, I, I want to rent. I want to apologize, but. Um, Jimmy and, and they lying because if somebody sends us sends them this podcast, they better be watching it for 15 minutes. <laughs> this podcast, yeah, yeah. If no somebody way. sends our stuff to somebody, they gotta watch it for, for Yo, make sure you're talking about we talking about stuff that's not entertaining. Like if you're gonna send right. me 
Like, if it was a 15 minute video about Facebook, the, you know, this whole thing with the scent, I'm not watching that, yo. Like, beat it. Or a 15 well, minute think, video so. on Biden, I'm not watching that. But I yo. think sometimes Bro. that's because there's so much information to unpack. And even sometimes people and don't know how to. Too. Yeah, and people don't know how to answer debates sometimes, right? Like sometimes you and somebody might have, you know, like let's say we're talking about pizza, pizza gate, right? Like you might not remember everything that you heard or the information you know about pizza gate and you probably did your research, but you're still like, let me just send you this video. This has all the information. Yeah, yo, and that's cool. I did watch that. That's an invitation. That's cool though, because that's an invitation. We're engaged in a conversation and you're trying to inform me on something, right? And mm -hmm. and the video articulate articulates it way better than you know than yeah. you and I can. I get that. I'm saying like just random, like you just sending me a random 10, 15 minute video, bro. Like we ain't even having a conversation. Why are you sending me this? This is not the topic of discussion right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Send me all the memes. You know what I mean? Yo, I think you need to add them. Who's, who's that sending you? I'm just, it's a few people, bro. It's a few people. And it's all because of Trump. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of baggers, bro. Like, uh -oh. like bro, uh -oh. I get it. Listen, get man. It, you know? Get your Civil War outfit. Oh. Who's who? Who's who? Well, obviously, Trump is a... Uh, Trump is um, Iron Man, is he? And Biden's Captain America. Or oh my gosh! Listen, thank you so much for listening, subscribing. <laughs> uh, we're gonna end it here. Nah, uh, they say you, they say Trump is is Captain America. What do you mean? listen? That that's great. <laughs> it's red and blue. blue if you like, if you like Captain America, make sure you hit that like button. If you like uh, Iron Man, make leave sure you a leave comment. a comment. Yep. And uh, if you like Marvel or DC, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, we'll see you next week. Make sure you check out those other videos. Check out Sayla's music. Uh, links will be in the description. And uh, we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.